Driving around the southern Washington coast, you will see lots of cranberry bogs, so we decided to visit one. This is the Cranberry Museum and Gift Shop in Long Beach, Washington. Inside the building, they have an extensive section to explore where you can learn all about how to build a bog, maintain it, and harvest the cranberries. Outside, they have bogs that you can walk around, and this facility actually does various types of research. It was super cool to learn all about what it takes to harvest the cranberries. Although there are bogs in states like Massachusetts, Washington, and Oregon, the bulk of cranberries actually come from Wisconsin. There are bogs in Washington and Oregon that are actually planted during the late 1800s that are still in operation. They sell some cranberry ice cream here for $2.75. Seemed like a really good deal. We're gonna go on a walking tour and check out the bog. They do dry harvest here, and inside, they actually have some cranberries that you can buy. How is it? Pretty good. Really? Mm -hmm. Delicious? Super mm -hmm. delicious? Mm -hmm. I'm going to get one. This ice cream here is super good. It tastes like, like the red, like sherbet. Like it tastes a little bit like sherbet, but it's creamy because it's ice cream. Super delicious. Never had cranberry ice cream before. Super cool here. Commercial cranberries are grown in areas with wet environments because of the large amounts of water necessary for irrigation, frost protection, heat protection, and flooding the bog for wet harvesting. After a bog is constructed and cranberry cuttings are planted, it can take two to four years before they start producing. There are hundreds of types of cranberry varieties and not every bog grows the same types of berries. Cranberries grow on vines that can be six feet long. Fruit buds form on short, upright vines during late summer for the following year's crop. A three to six week flowering period starts late May. Bogs use native bumblebees or rent hives of honeybees to facilitate pollination. The berries reach maturity about 80 days after full bloom and harvest season starts late September through early November. Ocean Spray is a co-op owned by the farmers. 70% of their product goes in juices, 25% in cranberry sauce, a small amount in fresh fruit sales, and a small amount are sold to other companies in the industry. They do about $1.5 billion in annual sales, and 10 years ago, it was about half that amount. This bog right here was planted over 10 years, and this one was 2007 and bogs, if properly maintained, can last indefinitely. It is totally free to come here and walk on their little walking tour and explore the museum. You can donate if you want, or you can be like us and spend a bunch of money in the gift shop. Okay, we got our bag of cranberries. We're gonna try a cranberry. Fresh one for the first time. I can hear you crunching. What's the verdict? They're sour. Really? Very sour? Like how sour? Like Sour Patch Kid? Lemon? They're sour. Hmm. They're okay. It's not something they're gonna eat a lot of. Well, we they have mixed, a lot. They mixed them in with some though. They'd be pretty good. They mixed them in with some other berries. They're a little crunchy. It was unexpected. I'm gonna try one. Might probably should have washed them first. They are sour. Ugh. Ugh. 